uh, Senator Gravel. <clears throat> Two points. Since all of you have followed uh, uh, this activity, you know, we're not the only country that has uh, Minuteman missiles in, in holes in the ground pointed at, at somebody. It's the somebody that we're pointing at. Did they have any, as a result of the implosion of the Soviet Union, the data that came forward and a lot of their files? Do you have any knowledge as whether or not the Russians or you know, the Soviets uh, had a similar experience with their missiles? Uh, any, anyone that wants to answer that? We'll start with uh, uh, Captain I'll Sarah. start with one that uh, I think is in my book uh, that I've given you a copy of. Uh, this was an incident, I think it was 1982. It was in the Soviet Union. Uh, and it was, it, it, you know, it, the witnesses come forward and are named. And actually, I think uh, there was an ABC special on this particular incident. But uh, uh, as I recall, UFO came over and actually started their missile on the launch sequence. Uh, <laughs> And uh, thankfully, it was shut down uh, from that launch sequence. But uh, there have been, there definitely have been sightings over Soviet bases. Uh, there, there's a, a large, large quantity uh, there also of incidents where UFOs were seen over missile bases. Did they have the same effect? Uh, that is, uh, 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 stopping the ability of the missile to work uh, through um, whatever device. I'm not familiar with any specific case like that. Okay. Uh, uh, Dr. I mean, uh, Captain uh, Fenstermacher, did uh, you nodded your head like you had some knowledge yeah, in that? Saw, saw the same report that Bob Salas had. Bob followed up, saw it on ABC, and I've read other reports, but nothing quantifiable. You know, I, plus if, if if I read reports about some of the people coming forward like we have, I wouldn't necessarily believe them. You know, <laughs> but. I've read reports about it, and, and instead of knocking them offline, actually it started the launch process, which really, to me, is more worrisome. Yeah, because they suspected us, uh, but so the, the, either the launch sequence was interrupted uh, or it they was, it backed was down. It was initiated. It was initiated. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, apparently it's the, uh, the control mechanisms that you could still start the launch sequence, uh, sequence, but the control mechanisms were the ones that were interrupted by whatever forces were in, in effect. So, so I was just curious that uh, you know if there was a focus of attention on U.S. Uh, ICBMs, obviously extraterrestrial would have an, an interest in the Soviet ICBMs, I'm, I'm and also would have uh, interest in ICBMs uh, in the world today, not by other countries. At the uh, very end of the uh, Soviet Richard, I was going to just come to you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe your research, <laughs> you, now you found something. This was anecdotal. Now, what did you find? Well, um, in the last couple of years of the Soviet Union's existence, uh, there was a remarkable amount of openness uh, in the press from the Soviet military on this matter, quite a bit. Um, it was like a window of opportunity, as people used to say at the time. And uh, there were a number of cases, one at Kasputin Yar, 1989. I don't think that involved nuclear, uh, but that was a rocket launch facility. There was an unknown object that appeared. It involved a jet scramble. It was quite extraordinary, very dramatic. Uh, there was a case just outside Moscow in, in um, March of 1990, which involved an unbelievable uh, encounter by an object that was playing all sorts of games with the Soviet jet interceptor, seen by multiple witnesses. The Soviet Minister of Defense spoke about it. The Soviet top general for air defense spoke about it. Uh, they both discounted this, that this was American. They said, not a chance. In fact, the, um, the top Soviet commander said, this is, there is no way we're ever going to try to attack this. It was vastly beyond anything that we or anyone we know had. Hmm. So there, there were quite a few very dramatic cases. Um, and there were some that involved nuclear facilities, but we don't have as much information. It's just not good. Thank you. My time's up. <laughs>